He hung that one in. Jose blast off deep left center field. It is gone to the bullpen and the Indians will play from in front this afternoon as Jose Ramirez has just hit his 27th home run of the season. You know he threw that slow curveball and dropped it in for a strike and you saw Jose turn and kind of slam the bat down on his spikes. And he threw two again. of them. He threw two of them in that at bat but then he throws a slider and this one just doesn't slide. I mean it stays up and right into the barrel head of that bat and Jose took advantage of it. First inning home run. The Indians have a one nothing lead. Yep. Ball four fourth walk of the inning two one Cleveland. Good patient approach by Miles yeah. Straw. Gives him his 39th run batted in on the year. 3 1. Let him Runner run. goes. And a popped in the air to center. That's hit pretty well, though. Back goes Gordon. Still going back. And that carries all the way to the wall. Hits off the fence. Scoring is Mercado. And in the second with a two out RBI double is Owen Miller and the Indians extend their lead to three to one. Boy it didn't look like he hit the ball that well off the bat from the swing we saw but I'll tell you what it carried the right center field went halfway up the uh, the wall. Mercado was off and running he will score make it a three one game Miller gets the double his third. Feeling <laughs> basis. <laughs> That's to the right field corner. And a fair ball into the corner. The walk will come around to score, and Rosario has a double, and the Indians get another run in the fourth. It's four to one. Oh, uh, you look at the wall. That's what you wanted me to dress like for my Hall of Fame. Yeah. Here's a high drive, right center field, and deep, and long gone. My goodness gracious. Halfway up into the upper deck in almost straightaway center field. I have never seen a ball hit up there. And from a right handed hitter, I mean, that is absolutely incredible. That ball 113 miles an hour off the bat. And I think that was the, the frustration of the last few days, all built up into one swing. He unloaded on that thing right there. There's the ball well struck. Got him. Deep center. Gordon back. He's out of room. It's out of here. Oh, baby, what a blast by Frodmil Reyes. That was high, and I think it was above the batter's eye. Yeah, it and was. And it hit off that stone facing. That was the delta sign it hit off of out there. And, uh, you know, I watched that swing right there and watch his front foot. It looked like it was timed perfectly. Arch, is it sandstone or limestone, Matt? I don't know. It, I don't hit, know. it hit one of them, though. Yeah. It hit up there. Hit wow. the stone. <laughs> it's sandstone. Is it sandstone? Uh, yeah, it is today. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hey, look at the hit. It's Ray of Stone is what it is. Base hit right field. Rooker around third. He'll score. Donaldson digging for third. And Arise delivers the big two out hit. And it's a 5-3 game. And that's part of the reason why you like him hitting in an RBI spot in the middle of the order. Fifth inning. And if he's not able to finish this inning, we'll be in line for the win. To center. And deep. Straw going back off the base of the wall. It'll tie the game. Sano to second with a two run double. About 107 miles an hour off the bat. He did hit this ball about 100 feet shorter than the last one. Alex Young, waiver claim from the Diamondbacks. That's pulled down the line. A wicked hop, and it goes over the glove of Miller. Sano around third. He'll score, and Gordon put the Twins in front. I don't know if it hit the bag or just took a bad hop. Deep down the left field line. Chased by Mercado. He won't get there. Bouncing over the wall for an RBI double. And, and the Twins take a 7-5 to five lead. The only thing that stopped Jefferson scoring there was the fact that it bounced off the warning track and went in. He'll never give it. Here's the payoff. It's in the oh. dirt again. Here comes the tying run. Unbelievable. He threw another one in the dirt. Jeffers. Off the end of the bat. Center field. Diving catch by Straw. And that'll send us for the first time this year. 
That's to left center field. Gordon dives, lays out, and makes the catch. We'll go to the bottom of the 11th, tied at seven. He's ahead in the count right here. Base hit, right field, and for the third time in the homestand, Polanco delivers the walk-off blow.